You're listening to I'm Telling It. You're listening to You're listening to I'm Telling You. Hey fam, welcome back to another episode of I'm Telling You. I'm telling you. And your friends too. <laughs> I feel like I was going to answer that. There you go. You're welcome. This is uh, Philly D. Mr. Gemini. Cookity clacker fact checker, Miss JD. Yeah, and uh, as always, we uh, ask you to reach out to us, uh, you know, continue the conversation as we say, chat us up, send us some uh, movie quotes, uh, paragraph phrases. We don't really care, but uh, you can get all three of us at ity at directionsamusic.org or individually. Gemini at G E M I N I at directions and music.org. <laughs> Danger, little <Will> Robinson. <laughs> yeah, we're uh, Philly D P H I double L Y D at directions and music.org. You like how I give you the D? I do. <laughs> <laughs> First time listeners, you're welcome. As well as this is a 30 year friendship of uh, the two of us just chopping it up, having in depth, uh, honest, organic conversations, uh, mixing it with some uh, dad jokes, movie quotes. Now he's got us a, a fact checker for almost a year now. She's super dope, Miss JD. But yeah, we uh, that's what we do. So you're you're welcome, and please please hang on because this does get better. <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> promise. All right, just stay around. I swear it'll get good. Yeah, no, this is um. Well, in this in this fast paced world of electronics and distractions and all kinds of, I mean, it's nice just to sit back and have a chat. I'm just, I'm fiddling. I'm sorry. I'm playing with the equipment as usual. But I'm just, yeah, I'm playing with my equipment. Or <laughs> while I'm talking, I'm just like, dude. Dude, you're playing with our dude, equipment. Do you mind if I just, uh, is this my trick addiction? <laughs> what? What was that? My jurisdiction. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was from earlier in the green room. Yeah, we also uh, do a warm up program <laughs> where we, <laughs> it's my jurisdiction. <laughs> yeah, no, we, uh, the green room, which is, yeah, we uh, hang out, drink beers, and get warmed up and stuff. But, Man, that was from earlier. That's uh, that's hilarious. It is, dude. I'm telling you, man. It's um, you know, we 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 have. I got laughing so hard I almost threw up. Well, but see, to me, <laughs> to me, the idea goes back to like when we um when we first kind of started doing this stuff, where I was I was basically assuming what we would do is just record our ideas and turn it into sketch comedy of some sort. But like, yeah, like boil that down until you get to some like all the best of the best and. No, pretty much just edit out like ninety percent of it, and never just happened. like chop out a few sections where I'm like, "That's funny." It became that right there. But yeah, the Seinfeld of talk shows. Yeah, now we just do this. You're welcome. <laughs> so welcome to our train. I <laughs> shoot that in tangents and uh, going left at Albuquerque or. You know, all that kind of fun stuff. And Alabama. And Alabama, that is well, true. you don't have that a choice in direction. You're on a train. <laughs> Easy there, bitch. <laughs> but no, it's in that train. But that's the thing, though, is like, that's what we do. We we really are so organic. Like, we, we have no clue what's about to come out of our mouths. You know what I mean? Like, and you're just over here. See, I overcarved you on break. That's the problem. See, that's a lot. Over carb. That was like protein <laughs> city with a little carb as a side dish. Maybe it's just when you give him too much sugar. Sugar? His stuff. carbs are already broken down into the sugars. They've already carved. We can't carve any further. Bears got to eat. <laughs> bear got to eat. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Is it bears got to eat or bear got to eat? I think it's a bear. Bears, bears got to eat. Bears got to eat. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. you were speaking from the perspective of like Yogi. Yogi. Yeah, that was yeah, my was, Yogi. Bears got to eat. Yeah, that was when we were chilling with our dude Maurice, which, uh, yeah, he's, uh, we're going to have him back on soon. That's going to be fun. I like having people on. It's awesome. <laughs> like, any people. I like having people on. <laughs> uh, on what? On. <laughs> oh, we <laughs> You ever known people? Red team go, red team. You ever known people on oh, weed? We do that. <laughs> oh, that's some good stuff, man. You see this? You see that? And this opens up over here. You know what that is? But see, like, dude, you know what? I'd be curious. Put your weed in it. Put your weed in it. <laughs> I'd be curious as to how much of the the stuff that, like, the different movies and whatnot that Dave Chappelle was doing. 
that he was actually like one of the writers, like half baked. I feel like he probably wrote at least some of that material. You know what I mean? Well, we should look that up. Well, I mean, we shouldn't. We shouldn't look up nothing. <laughs> well, we can't. Yeah, we're banned. on it. We're what? banned from that. Like, but yeah, what what kind of influence Dave Chappelle? I'm sure he had a. I don't know. What are we gonna say? Like twenty five percent stake in it at least. I mean, what, what writing wise or like yeah, money wise? I mean, yeah, I would. I want to say, yeah, I, I would, would think they all kind of would. I mean, you would hope because you're also talking like Jim Brewer. I mean, but the other guy wasn't really a like. But I mean, as comedians, you write your own material, right? Well, yeah, I yeah, mean, that's what I'm saying. So three you don't out have to of the rely four, on like a group of writers, like on a you know a sitcom. Yeah the 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 guy that played um oh oh crap what's his name the the Hispanic cat that was like Scarface yeah the cat that played Scarface I can't remember his name but. Oh, I don't, I don't believe he I don't know was name. a comedian. The character Scarface in, in, in Half Baked. Yeah, but that's what, him as an individual, I don't think. Cuban he, B. I'm, yo, I'm Cuban. Yes, Cuban B. <laughs> I don't think he is actually a comedian, whereas the other three of them were Jim Brewer and Dave Chappelle and the other guy, I forget his name as well, but he was in like Down Periscope and stuff like that. And he does like freaking, um, what do you call it? Uh, impressionist. He does impressions Q. of things. You, you, you're cool, and fuck you. I'm out of here. <laughs> you, my <white> trap. <laughs> Danny DeVito was a producer on Half Bait. Mm. On how high? Oh, on how high? high? What do we <laughs> come up? I know. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking up something in that caught my eye. I was like, there, I agree, that was but... weird. Not, I, I think we've infected her. One of these things is not like the other. But then, <laughs> it's like, do, do, do. Marijuana affects the memory. <laughs> Take it right back to half baked there for you. You know what I mean? Like, I'm trying to bring us back. Why am I now corralling us? This is not my job. This is not what I signed up for. <laughs> I, not I'm, my job. Yeah, not my circus, not my monkeys. Yeah, apparently it is. And two pizzas with everything on them. <laughs> and funions. So. Dave Chappelle and Neil Brennan wrote it. There you go. Yeah, because Neil Brennan, well, yeah, clarify. Neil Brennan was um, Dave Chappelle's co part for the Chappelle show. He was, that's what I was saying. He was the white guy when uh, they were playing the show, um, you know, oh, God, um, who knows a black person or whatever. It yeah. is. <laughs> Where it's like the weird black people Jeopardy that's just like, what the ass- Lucy? <laughs> yeah, would you, would you, a loose cigarette? That is correct. You know, he's just like and then the one white girl is just like, how can black people stand up right? He's like, can they? He's like, that is correct. Like, she's like, no, no, I was joking. He's, you know, no, that was, that's an answer. I'm like, damn it. And Guillermo Diaz. Yeah. The, that's, um, the one you were talking about. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I think he's just an actor. I don't really believe he's a comedian. Not to say that he doesn't write or anything, but. But yeah, the other two in the group were definitely comedians. It's just, there's so many quotables. Yeah, he's it. listed just as an American actor. Okay. Yeah, because he was also, I think, on Weeds and a few other things. Like, I loved mm-hmm. him on Weeds. He was dope as shit on that. Yeah. Which is, his name was Guillermo, which I was just like, well, yep. <laughs> way to go there. Good job. <laughs> it's a little bit of a stretch. I don't know if way you Way to land that. that role. <laughs> don't get typecast. <laughs> I'm Cuban B. <laughs> That's right. Cuban B. I see that. Be like, oh, we, we need someone who's more, well, not somebody who's not so much Mexican. I'm Cuban B. It's just like, oh, we don't believe you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be horrible. Dude, what was it? Uh, that, I don't even remember the guy's name, but from uh, the Friday after next or next Friday, I can't remember which one. Mike Epps is uh, his cousin. No, 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 in that. no, no. The uh, the Hispanic guy with the they like they were were in his house and everything. They're like, I don't like the locked doors. I say, wasn't that <laughs> <laughs> reminds me of prison? <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I have no idea. I don't know where I was going with that, but I love that guy. (laughs) Was it Hector? Probably. That was in the first one. It was in like the second or third one. So I think the second one, it's been so long. Because it was like Friday and next Friday and then the Friday after next. I think it must have been next Friday. 
Yeah, the second one. Where it's like, yo, them, them 20s, not nah, them 10s. Yeah, but I keep them real clean. <laughs> yeah, that shit. Yo, I just, I just thought she had like a little beer gut because she all be drinking them 40s. <laughs> no, nah, she pregnant. Oh, part of the Joker's gang? Oh, you know, probably. Chico, uh, his name is Jacob Vargas. The actor. The, the actor. And in, yeah, Cause... and in the thing, in, I in think he was thing. Chico. In the movie, I think he was Chico. Hold on, let me double check that. <laughs> but he's playing this real ghetto <laughs> character. And the actor yeah. himself is like, is like Harvard educated or something. Like he's like really... He's from a good family. He's really intelligent, and he's playing like this gangster, like you know. Isn't that what it was in um, uh, Malibu's Most Wanted? <laughs> the you the keep two referring to that movie because it's fucking it hilarious. Once. Well, because they're the it's the two guys that kidnap uh, Jamie Kennedy, um, um, Anthony Edwards, and um, oh, what the hell's the other guy's name? I forget. I don't know. But the the two of them are highly educated theater actors but they're hired to play like super inner city thug, like hardcore gangsters. And they're kidnapping him because, you know, they want to scare him to be white. You know, they want to, they want to scare the black out of him kind of a thing. And it's just like, dude, that was how he's raised. You know what I mean? <laughs> but yeah. No, oh, his it's... name was Joker. Yeah. From the next Friday. There you go. Yeah. Joker. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, dude, but, no, but he was super intelligent. Like it was one of the, um, one of the outtakes where he's like, then they keep videoing like offset real quick. And he's like, he pulls back because his hat was like all the way down up, up to his eyes. Where you can like barely see him. Like it ran over his eyebrows kind yeah, of, of course. thing. So he'd look, so he'd do this. Yeah, you gotta, look look, you gotta lean way back to like lean. look down your That's face. That's what you were talking about, yeah, right? Like, hey, hey, what's up, man? Eh? Yeah, where well, you got the lean back. But like the camera, you know, the cameras turn off for the filmmaking and like he pulls the hat off and he's like, man, you know, he's like, I never thought in a million years with a Harvard education I'd be doing this. <laughs> I don't know if it was Harvard or not. You can you can check me out, but uh, or check it out. <laughs> the one who plays Joker. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. I guess I think. I mean, if he's remembering correctly, which we all know where that gets us. I don't lock doors. I don't like locked doors. They say. <laughs> It He's doesn't got, say anything about college. It just says he graduated high school in California. No, not the well, not the character, the actor. Yeah. Maybe he was just joking. <laughs> I don't know, but it was. I don't know. See, not a, it, not even a job. Double check. Is it that guy? You got? I don't. Know. I don't think so. I don't know. So I don't think, I don't so, think so either. Okay. Well. <laughs> okay, no corn fresh. <laughs> well, we'll look it up later. Whatever. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, if we remember that shit. Well, if it's important, we'll remember it. I mean, maybe. Probably. Sometimes. Usually. I mean, once in a while. I mean, really, what... It <laughs> so what you're saying is there's a chance. We really need to start on these t-shirts. I'm saying. Yo, I'm telling you. <laughs> going to be so funny. Bro, this is such a thing. It's been a thing. Like, we just have to bring it to fruition. It's going to be great. Speak up if you're drowning. <laughs> I do. <laughs> yeah, speak up when you're drowning. I can't read lips. <laughs> that's terrible. But uh, that's like a Mitch Hedberg joke almost. You know what I mean? <laughs> like Steve Carell. It's just like super ironic. Or even Stephen Wright. I feel like Stephen Wright would pull that joke off really well. He's that mm -hmm. guy that reads things just like super dead. Speak band. up when you're drowning. <laughs> Can't read lips. <laughs> no new taxes. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's not the same thing. Not the same thing. That's gonna be my new sup yoga slime. <laughs> What's that? Speak up when you're drowning. I can't read. Uh. <laughs> Yo, I don't know what that says. <laughs> I'm just, I mean, it makes uh, people laugh. That's what you need. Yeah, you know, <laughs> man, it hurts out the week, right? Just, oh, then you can go over here. You can just watch from the shore. There you go. Well, you're in waist deep water. You know, so. on the back, like, I mean, it depends on how tall you are. <laughs> on the back, thanks for laughing. I'm telling you. <laughs> it's, it's a joke. 
<laughs> these are the jokes. These people. are these are jokes. These and, are jokes. Uh, and I. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he great, dude. That guy was awesome. Drew Lynch is freaking hilarious. He really is. He's got. So some, this is this is the cat that like, what he ended up on American Idol. No, America's Got Talent. America's Got Talent. Yeah, That's right. AGT. This is a few years back though, like four or five years ago. But like I with, say. A, with a really bad stutter, wicked stutter, like really bad, hard. But he played into it. He did. His jokes were mm -hmm. very well played. I mean, but and, now it seems like through through theatrics, he's able to like clean himself up. Like once he's kind of scripted it out, he seems to be okay with it. I would say he's just been at a, like such a long time of focused on being able to speak well. But it's awesome because you wouldn't even know it's the same person. I mean, to the degree of where he was stutter wise to where he's at now. Yeah, and he's still, because <laughs> he still has a few words that like totally trip him up. And there's like nothing. It's just, they may. He's still working on it. Well, yeah, like <laughs> banana. To him, banana is, that's the impossible. It's a nonsense word. Yeah, he's yeah. like, why is there so many in? Like, it's, it's just. It's, 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 yeah, no, it's just Achilles' heel. Like he just. Banana, like, no, no, yeah, no, 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 it's not. It's like not happening, bro. I can't spell it without singing Gwen Stefani song. B A N A N A. Okay, that's how that's spelled. Thank you for clarifying all those ends for me, Gwen. Yeah, right. That's because it's banana. Yeah, it's got nanas in it. Oh, nanners. Oh. Like me some nanners. I heard that about you. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we got saucy in the just green room tonight. <laughs> I mean, hey, just somebody's got to do it. I still got some beer left. Yeah, I mean, because then there's more in the fridge that you brought, and then... Well, and we can taste that one, too. I can go run and get it. I would hope... No, your balance is horrible. It's, you should walk. I could walk <laughs> and get it? I mean, I? Maybe, maybe even just, like, slowly saunter, like... <laughs> You can linger on your foot. <laughs> I'm literally going to get up from my chair and I'm going to run to the kitchen. You're with your headphones still on, be like, you know, comic style feet no, kick I'll, out from I'll underneath you. Take the headphones off, hang them up, <laughs> step out from the little, you know, chair hole that I'm in here and just. Christopher Lloyd style. And I'll run, like I'll full run. out. I was <laughs> running. You know what I mean. <laughs> I'm just, just going to grab one and then uh, in a glass for you, and then we'll just. So I mean, I guess I guess set us up with with two, and then when, and one for you. So that's that's three. So that's that's three cents. Yeah, we can. Thanks. Three cent. What? That's from Weird Science oh, when they're sorry. at the counter and they're ordering <laughs> perfume for their for their sex pot <laughs> girlfriend. Yes. I mean, I don't. I don't <laughs> <laughs> he deserves a party, Al. <laughs> All right, I'll be right back. Dude, this is going to be boring. Why? You, you got, I mean. You got to talk trash on me. I mean, there's, there's so much. Why do probably, I have to explain it to you? Honestly, understand. it would be better if I spoke I'm kind of you. Now. I'm going, this, is, this isn't like commentary. You can't yell from the other room to tell us what's going on here. You know, this, <laughs> this is very selfish of him. I mean, honestly, he does this often. No, it's kidding. <laughs> I do, I he had mean, to say he was getting you something, so it made it acceptable for him to get up and leave. Oh, but of course, because I mean, you know, you got to blame me as well. You can't just, you know. <laughs> and see, now he's doing a double take. He's, oh, I forgot the glasses. Of course he did. He's just, he's, you know. I mean, I did tell him to <laughs> saunter, but you know, there's no really like he ain't got no shake in the shimmy or nothing. <laughs> I want him to float back. I want him to float. Back. <laughs> I want him to magic carpet ride his way on over here. Ah, all right. <laughs> we did not speak unhighly of you at all. Uh -huh. Just saying. It's, it's all right. It's, uh, away from the equipment, bro. We know what happens. Plus with your beers, who knows? <laughs> Just saying we might get a little pop. Oh, what's this flavor? Johnson's underwear. <laughs> This is Johnson's underwear. This is here. Have it, some Johnson. I'm calling it Johnson's Wait, underwear. Were you serious? Yeah, it's literally <laughs> called Johnson's underwear. It says it on the bottom and everything. No, but I'm, I'm calling this one Johnson's underwear dirty. Can you can you say this in the dirty? No, you the, the whole Johnson's thing. Johnson's underwear dirty. You're calling this one Johnson's <laughs> underwear dirty. Yes, because 
Um, this one was made with uh, malt extract, and it came out a lot darker. Are you going to so have I'm different s- versions of his underwear? Well, until I figure <laughs> out the recipe, yeah. But this is going to be one of you my... Know. I'm trying to develop a flagship here. I'm trying to make his underwear, bro. I'm just- <laughs> Because I think it's a great name for a dank, but I don't think it's quite there yet. Did you have one called Skin Marks? <laughs> I don't know. I just I think it's a great name, period, no matter what the beer is, really. I like Johnson's the underwear. <laughs> yeah, just because, I mean, same thing with, like, Professor Booty. It's just the fact that it's just, like, you get to say that. That shit is hilarious. That's what I'm thinking, too. How funny would it be is, you know, people come into a bar and they're like, yo, man, let me get two Johnson's underwear. <laughs> Yeah, right. What is that? A mixed drink? I don't <laughs> like sex on the beach. <laughs> like, can I get sex on the beach in a Johnson's underwear? Be like, say what now? The weirdest order at a bar ever. But I mean, those drinks actually probably would go together. And a redheaded slut. With, <laughs> I mean, yes, oh God. I, I'm i polite. No comment. I, and that's a, right. I'm a, and a I'm fuzzy a, navel. Uh, I'm not really into that. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I like my belly buttons clean. You know what I mean? Tequila like, yeah. sunrise. Dude, I mean, anything with tequila is dope for me, bro. But that oh. doesn't sound as funny. Purple nurple. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't think that's how this works. No. A star fucker. <laughs> <laughs> it actually tastes really good. <laughs> I don't even know why. I'm. I'm. I'm not gonna ask. <laughs> it's red and watermelon puckers. Okay. Don't forget the screaming Viking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, geez. Did you need a bruised cucumber. Dude, we definitely got saucy in the green room, which, I mean, honestly <laughs> does make for appropriate antics on our part, which I think is... Our part. Know, <laughs> I, <sighs> see, I think I need to stop feeding you. You get really <laughs> lippy. And you got... But then you also crash and burn You're supposed life. to feed the animals after midnight. Just to know <laughs> don't feed the animals. I don't have any more fingers. Yeah, no, I should not be feeding you. <laughs> feed me, Zemo. Feed me. <laughs> but I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Dude, that, dude, I love that. Yeah, Audrey too. That's the name of the... So how's Johnson's underwear taste? <laughs> Delicious. I guess uh, well, go ahead and make a joke out of it. But yeah, how, it's, how is uh, it's flat? How is how is uh, Johnson's dirty underwear? <laughs> Johnson's underwear dirty. Well, it doesn't sound as like good a, that way. Parentheses, parentheses or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so I'm doing that in the air. But yeah, yes, air quote parentheses. parentheses. I yeah. did say it. It just it was a pause. And then he drew them in the air, like he was directing the plane traffic. That's right. I, know, I want you over here. You come straight at me. Keep going over here. <laughs> yeah. No? Yes. And, and the exits are here and here. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, li- the library comes equipped with fire exits at either end. <laughs> Show d- shut up. Show Dick some respect. <laughs> I mean, we're talking about Johnson's underwear. That is true. Oh, that's seven, sir, including when you asked earlier <laughs> whether or not you knew Barry Manilow where his wardrobe. It's eight. No, I'm sorry, sir. Seven. It's eight. <laughs> Shut up, Pee Wee. It's eight. So I should just name a beer Haganaga. No, that one's not funny. No. Johnson's underwear works pretty good. Yeah, though. Johnson's underwear is super dope. Um, I don't know. Are you just going for like a whole breakfast club line at this point? No, not necessarily. Like, I was thinking about what I could. And I, I still haven't. I don't have. I know I don't have this nailed down. Not that it's a, a bad beer. It is kind of flat right now, but um, I got to get CO2 eventually. I got to work that out. I mean, you, you know you make that stuff every time you breathe out, right? Yeah, I just got to <laughs> bottle it and then I can put it in. Some- <laughs> you just breathe into your, just keep breathing. Into your, you get, a, get a, like a straw and just like inhale and <laughs> blow the bubbles. And then just, yeah, what are you doing, carbon my beer? <laughs> See, you probably do. That's pretty cheap, man. Bro, that's never going to work. No, it's going to take too long. Is that, is and you're that put, not a thing? You're putting oxygen in there, too. That's bad. No, because you're exhaling. So you, you, yeah, but it's not all CO2. It's mostly. It's, it's no, enough. No, it's not. Make it's, it enough. It's, <laughs> it's, it's unspent oxygen as well. 
Your own spin off. Because you don't breathe all the oxygen in the air that you inhale. You don't own you don't own the sand. You, 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 <laughs> this is it's your bush. This is God's sand. <laughs> is this your bush? The king of the forest? <sighs> all right. We just jumped through like three different, four different. Oh, 17. <laughs> 17. All right, so why so why do you you're calling this dirty because you're using a different malt to make it darker than what you I didn't use um actual grain. It was a malt extract which uh, whatever mix it's made from it it turns out a lot darker than the original. So now it's dirty. So I, I called it dirty. But um, yeah, I haven't I haven't figured out the exact hop yeah, schedule that I want to start using. Who's on in this. dirty little Johnson's underwear? Because to me, it should it should have a um woodsier, pinier taste to be more considered like a dank. So, so I'm you considering want some piney wood and Johnson's underwear. I'm considering <laughs> using a a um. I say, this is why this name works. An al- an alternation with um c- Citra and Chinook, hopefully to get. More of a piney, resiny, because that's the the flavor note that you're going for with a dank. You're going for something that's the suggestion is you know marijuana is the flavor. Do I like a marijuana? Marijuana. <laughs> that's why it's called smoked marijuana. That's why cigarettes. it's called dank. So, well, but dude, I mean, that's the thing is, uh, cannabis. So I don't have it dialed in yet. But. Cannabis and hops is in I think like, the same kingdom or family, <laughs> which is why they have very similar terpenes and you yeah, know, they're the the, the basically aroma cousins, molecules. Yeah. They're co- hey, you know your cousin. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm saying. You know that beer no, you were trying to get the smell there's right. A definite similarity, although um, hops grow more like a vine. I yeah, guess. yeah, straight up they want to. They, so they'll climb. They're climbers. Straight up now, baby. Sorry, that's where my brain goes. Um, yeah, no, they are. So like, they don't necessarily have to have a supportive root base. Like they kind of just grow up whatever, I guess. I mean, so I guess in nature, like if you were to find hops somewhere eventually, you know, that's, I'm assuming that's where we located them in the wild at some point before we started making located, it. Located, like we had radar or something. Hey, well, over here. There were, there were many years where beer was made with herbs and spices as bittering agents. Uh-huh. It was called, I don't, I'm going to screw up the pronunciation, but Groot, which is not accurate, but... I am Groot? I, I forget the accurate. It's not... What about... It's what's not Groot, it, it's Groot, or it's something else. I can't remember. Groot. It. I, what what is it? I grew it. But that's just basically, it's beer made without hops. Yeah, but what was the stuff from way, way back you were telling me about? I remember it's um, what, ergot. Isn't that the oh like well, the grain? Like they were like way back in the day, like well, the first supposed er, ergot was, and well, I guess it still is, but I'm sure we've bred it out. But it's it's a um, it's not where it's LSD a particular was like it's freaking, a particular kind of mold that grows on a certain type of I don't know if it's a barley. Or something like a certain type of grain, and um, if you don't know that that even if it's a small part of your grain field, like you might harvest and not realize that it's in there, like children of the corn. If it if it gets in if it gets into a loaf of bread, it it can it can basically make you trip. My dose just trying to kill me, man. And it's 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 yeah, a that toxin guy. that's that's um, maybe a close cousin of of lysergic acid dilithamide. Well, I think that's where uh, the original. Uh, Isn't that how you like, I think it was yeah, it was like LSD twenty five, is the 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 whole like John of it. But it was, yeah, I think it was uh, synthesized from ergot. If I, I think I think if, if I'm yeah, calling my but ergot correctly. is actually naturally occurring. Like it's um oh. yeah, it grows on the barley and related plants. I thought it was barley. Okay, yeah. Which barley used to be a very common crop for for making breads and making you know a meal. Just kidding! It's on the rye. It's on oh, it's, it's on, on rye. The- okay, it's on the rye. <laughs> Sorry, can I have weird. the rye on the rocks? Would that be okay? Oh, I knew it was one of them. So I don't know. So I was wrong. It was on a grain. It was it was on a grain. So I was right about yeah. that. But um, but um, but um, <laughs> but um, but um, but um, but um, but um, but um. All right. 
Yeah, we did get saucy in the green room. Now we're drinking Johnson's underwear, which is- but Yes, I believe it was originally mm-hmm. synthesized from ergot. Correct, yeah, if, if I'm recalling my facts. And I, I, I do believe there was another side story to that, that the guy that was developing it as accidentally massively overdosed on the shit. I feel like I've heard that. And that's that's how they came up with, <laughs> I guess, the knowledge of how powerful this stuff really was. Yeah, but that's where you also get a double rainbow from. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> double rainbow! <laughs> so I don't know how to follow that up. <laughs> well, so I mean, I was um, I was watching this one documentary or you know informational show something or other, but where they were basically breaking down the idea that if you were to do um, full sensory deprivation, you know, like the weightless tanks and all that, and you just like- Oh, that you would have- Yeah, no matter what component you're using- You would have a hallucinogenic experience eventually, especially if you're especially if you're fasting. Yeah, I mean, you, and this is, you know, pretty much anything that's going to get some kind of an abundance of- you know, hormones and whatever else, you know, whether it be DMT or something. Dude, I'm telling you, if you haven't tried it, you got to float. You got to float. That's crazy, man. Like it's, it's, I don't think there's many places that do it, but I, I took my wife to one for an anniversary where it's, um, they're deprivation chambers, but it's, it's basically like, I mean, you could make one at home. Like it's just, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's, it's a really deep tub with a cover, basically, that's filled with, um, I guess, like a third of the way with water that's super saturated with um, with salts. Yeah, that's what you, you no matter what, it's, you're buoyant. It's saturated with Epsom salts, like seriously saturated. So you, yeah, you float on top of it like you would the Red Sea. And it, it gives you a, a feeling of weightlessness plus the lack of um, sensory input. <laughs> kind of naturally puts you in a meditative state. You end up going inward. Well, yeah, what was... Um, and sometimes you just kind of disappear in yourself. And like you, and the sessions are like, at minimum, they're 90 minutes because you really need... It needs to be a certain amount of time. Like, yeah. Especially if you're trying to go for the full thing, no music, no, there is no outside influence at all. There's no sounds other than what's inside the tub. Yeah, the, so um, you end up focusing on stuff like your heartbeat and your breathing and just like the rhythms of your body. It's wild. Yeah, the, yeah, the, uh, the movie Altered States, um, he uses, I, I want to say, uh, hallucinogenic mushrooms and the deprivation tank. Whoa, that's... And he winds up... and That's, that's like he, a forced experience right Yeah, there. well, he winds up crossing over through, you know, like time parallel or something. It goes back to, to like, you know, Cro-Magnon times and stuff. Sure. and. But yeah, and he does, dude. It's a crazy movie, actually, because there's like there's so much more to it. But because he he really does just he almost starts to like crawl I feel like inside totally of his would own mind and force some kind of experience like that, like maybe that oneness experience that I was talking about, possibly where you kind of have that euphoric separation from from the 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 body attachment reality where like transcendental after <clears throat> after a while. <clears throat> After a while in a sensory deprivation tank, especially when you have a feeling of weightlessness, sometimes they do it just by floating you in a like a special suit so that you can breathe, like completely immersed in water. But another way is is this one that I'm talking about where you just kind of float on top of a a salt bath, basically. Yeah. And, and you know, everything's so salty. Everything is kept at like room temperature, so it's not hot, it's not cold. So it's you know, it's a very relaxing, very it's almost like being in the womb. And you, you, you get out of the thing and you do kind of feel like, like you ever had like a really good massage and it just like, it puts you to one another. It's like you're drunk almost. Oh yeah, I've had, I've had several. So it's, it's kind of similar to that where you, you come back and like you're, you're happy to be back, but like, wow. <laughs> like where the hell was I for 90 minutes? I mean, I would go for an hour or two hours and get a three-person massage. Like, I'd have three three women just, like, going to town. 
And I'd literally come stumbling out of the massage room, just like, like my eyes are half shut. Like I've been taking a Oh, when you get a good, especially like a deep tissue massage. Because oh, no, this was all. like, this was common because I was going like every other weekend. Every Wait, are you time. talking about, are you not talking about a happy ending massage? Oh, no, no. This was full on. <laughs> Real deal, hundred because they were doing like a real massage. No, oh no. yeah, because they're doing like hot stone and towels and all sorts of things. I mean, they're. I mean, and I'm flipping over a couple of times, and mm-hmm. I'm getting yeah, legs, <laughs> arms, back, freaking neck. My I mean, neck. Just, <laughs> my was <neck. laughs> my crazy. You know, it's, and I'm, I'm, I'm put into such a deep, you know, coma like state that yeah, when I come stumbling out, deeper and deeper. <laughs> Way down. <laughs> you, you, it was like, this one actually. You did the whole hand flick. Yeah, you're doing the scene from Office Space, but but yeah, no, nah, dude. I mean, that's that's literally what. I, yeah, I I come out and I mean, it's as if I left. Just came back. Like, oh, what's? Oh, all right. Yeah, I'm gonna oh, bouncing off walls, barely opening doors. Oh, my arms don't work. How do these things happen? Like I'm a T-Rex, you know, baby fawn or some shit. Today is like a regular day. It's not like a half day or anything. So um, <laughs> you're stuck on office base. Yeah. Quick, somebody hit him. <laughs> Needs a reset. Whenever you can come <sighs> on in, that'd be great. Oh. Yeah, Johnson's underwear is definitely dirty. Yeah, I don't like this one as much <laughs> as the first one. But like it's I not said, bad. I I the malt extract was free, so Mm. It didn't really cost me much. I mean, it, you know, it, it wasn't bad. Like it, you know, I mean, it's, it's a little flat for my taste, but other than that, no, it's not. Yeah, I mean, it's not yeah. terrible. I mean, it's definitely in the the dank capacity. I would give you that. It's a little saucy, but but I think I need to yeah, you know, I need to work it out a little bit more. What <laughs> I work out. Good look at this body. Well, I mean, <laughs> just I mean, and not I don't know how much it would mean to you, but like the the types of hops that I used, I, I think I want to switch that up a little bit. <laughs> kind of, kind of dial it in some more hops. And some of this. <laughs> not more, just a different type. I don't want to. I mean, as it is, this is like eighty something IBUs, which is really high. <laughs> Well, I they say like the human, the human mouth can't feel over a hundred ideas. Dude, so go figure. Johnson's underwear is high. But um, <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. For those of you at home who don't know the Breakfast Club, that's where the that's you put your weed in it. <laughs> so it was in Johnson's underwear. That's why it's dank. It smells like the grass. Yeah, <laughs> because what if your house? Yeah, no. What if your what if, what what if, if your, your stuff? Car, what if your lot? What if your house? What if? What if your weed was on? What fire? if your dope yeah, was your on dope fire? Was on fire. That's impossible, sir. It's in Johnson's underwear. I mean, is that why it's so dank? <gasps> <laughs> he like looks. He's like, no, no, no. like the, the, the deep, scared eyes, like all big and like what? No, I didn't. <sighs> he means the other Johnson. Oh, that guy. Oh, uh, he was just. He'll be right back. <laughs> no, pretty much. And then they go upstairs. <laughs> Are you going to make those characters extras in movies? Is that what we're going to do? You know, I'm just not seeing you playing this role, honestly. This is, no, I can't lose another job. And Graham's going to kick me out. <laughs> just saying, dude. I mean, it'd be like everyday living, dealing with struggles like all people do. And <laughs> Trying to find an acting role. Why not? <laughs> I mean, you know, the his other jobs weren't working out either. You know, he couldn't couldn't exactly be a uh, bathroom attendant. That didn't work out. Bath and body's not happening. You know, figure. But if he was a laundromat attendant, <laughs> dude, dude, the basket joke still works. <laughs> Reminding people not to forget their fabric softener. Put the clothes in the basket. <laughs> it's not uh, the same. It's not. <laughs> it's not the same. But it's still funny. It's puppets, bro. Yeah, I want to do puppets with you so bad. <laughs> that sounds horrible. It sounds dirty, that like sounds Johnson's so underwear. Dirty. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. He got me. He got Johnson's underwear. Is this underwear the thing that kids are talking about now? Is this like slang? Is that is, that, <laughs> is this the new lingo? Is this how I you want get to do down? puppets with you? Is that like a position? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's going on here? 
<laughs> Where you're just like, I want to live inside of you. I want to pop at you so bad. <laughs> I'm not saying yes. I'm just curious. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, this is not a buying question. <laughs> just want to open up my knowledge bank a little bit. What What is this puppeting <laughs> you're talking about? Do we need consent? I want to do puppets with you. Like, whoa, buddy. Well, this, then, <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. So Buffalo. 30 years or not. I mean, there's no. But Buffalo Bill being the type <laughs> that he was trying to wear a person suit. You know, he's kind of, you know what I mean? So it's like it's him so being the puppet. <laughs> <laughs> the body would be, oh my god <laughs> and then you could literally just switch to that like he just puts that on and it's just like now he's a cabbage patch <laughs> like, oh, I'm pretty sexy huh <laughs> you, can, you can change it up he's just like oh we're going oh, look at that body oh. just saying bro Dude, when you do it with pop, is I don't know. We got to be careful. I mean, what no, kind of demographic no. are we looking for? It doesn't matter. It's puppets, bro. <laughs> yeah, people with a sense of humor. People that listen to this show, they'd be like, they were, they're going to do puppets? Is this for, yeah, we're, we're really talking about doing puppets. We should. We need video content. But that's what I'm saying, bro. Let's get a hold of our homie, man. Who, who wants to? I mean, we got faces built for radio. I mean, speak for yourself, bro. <laughs> I'm over here working on this, you know what I mean? <laughs> You just wake up and it looks this kind of like, <laughs> well, yeah. This, takes, this takes effort of not shaving. Not only just waking up, but like hardly sleeping. <laughs> no shit, bro. Can't get this for nothing. <laughs> yeah, I know. This takes work. It's effort. Yeah. These bags under my eyes didn't build themselves. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's work. Yeah. But at least I enjoy what I do, though. You know what I mean? <laughs> A workout. That's what I'm saying. You don't see the holes in the mattress? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's uh, how I get down. I'm saying. No. With a hole What's in the mattress. Not the hole in the mattress. The, mm -hmm. uh -huh. What the I am? Uh -huh. I screw, I'm screwing up a line. It's 73%. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, but it's still. bad boys. <laughs> yeah, well. You when mean, he was trying to explain that he's not gay. <laughs> yeah, well, that's, you, you said something about a hole in the mattress. Not a hole in the mattress. That's a little disturbing. I mean, it's, you said. <laughs> you said. <laughs> Look, you can't. Oh. <laughs> Alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't have to keep drinking, bro. But yes, I do. Well, you know you. <laughs> <laughs> Let it be noted, I am speaking in a. I am the voice of reason. <laughs> God, that's hilarious. You know this, who this is, Ken. <laughs> God. And I want you to stop masturbating. <laughs> it is God. Stop playing with yourself. Yeah, stop playing with yourself. It is God. <laughs> Dude, Real Genius is a good movie. A lot of popcorn. <laughs> Weed! He comes floating out the door. <laughs> oh, my God. Dude, that was, oh, man. I remember that was like 1986. So I'm like eight years old or whatever. And there's the one scene where the Val Kilmer is asking the, the general's daughter out. <laughs> She's just like, can you hammer a six inch railroad spike through, or you know, can you hammer a six inch spike through a railroad tie with your penis? And he's like, uh, he's just like, girls got to have her standards. It's like, whoa, okay. <laughs> and I'm like eight, and I'm just like, oh, okay, why would you? I mean, I kind of like my I penis. Mean, why would I why want would to? It <laughs> sounds like that's going to hurt. <laughs> I thought, I can get that, but okay. Yeah. Little did he know. <laughs> <laughs> What she meant was... There's that tiny moth. Where'd it go? There's a tiny moth in here. Oh, it's so lovely. Come in, Tower. Permission to buzz. It just... Negative yeah, ghost rider pattern is full. <laughs> well, you Don't do it, Mav. Don't uh, do it. Yeah, he buzzed the tower. He's sitting on the wall now. How do you know? Did You shouldn't leave him in the house. He might start teasing your clothing. Doubt it. And maybe your bed clothes. Doubt it. I think he's going to die in like a couple hours, probably. Keep my house blue green, you know what I'm saying? Die after it lays eggs in your closet. Oh, dude, you're so gross. <laughs> Why well, always gotta go? That's, bro. You should be more careful. Dude, yes. You should be careful. They can eat your garments. <laughs> like your bra. <laughs> there, you just did it again. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's lovely. Dude, you just keep pouring this beer and you're not drinking it or anything. <laughs> just pouring it away. Getting ready. It is beautiful to look at. I mean, it is the booty. 
You just had Johnson's underwear, so you're, you're putting <laughs> booty in with the Johnson's underwear. Just kind of makes sense there. I feel like that's a it's all fair. That's a thing. <laughs> <laughs> Put the booty in Johnson's underwear. That's what I'm saying, bro. Maybe you should do that. Be like, what is this booty in Johnson's underwear? <laughs> Literally put the two of them together. Well, I think it's booty in Johnson's underwear. I mean, I'd be curious as to how dirty that <laughs> Oh, my God. This is what happens when we get we sauce need to, in the green we room. We need to stop. Sauce? It is time to stop now, Mac. Sauce? Salsa? <laughs> Stinks like sex in here. Hot sauce? What kind of sauce? I have no idea. Saucy? What are you doing right now? What's I don't know. What happened? <laughs> I, bl I blacked out. What happened? Trying to keep you from taking a sip. Yeah, easy there, Will Ferrell. Sauce? What kind of sauce? I say you're dancing Look. around. Dancing around. All nimbly bimbly. Like. You put your drink down. And then you go to pick it up. It's a glass full of lacquer thinner. And then you go to light your Lego cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> Do the... That's dangerous. Dude, his scenarios were like the worst <laughs> ever. Like This would never happen, bro. Never, bro. Never. But they keep inviting him because he's funny. No, they do. I mean, the show did, but, you know, the people didn't. No, they always want to get rid of him. And when you come, like, busting in, like, code enforcement or something, it's like, dude, no. <laughs> it's not happening, bro. He's like the worst door-to-door -door salesman that works for the fire company. It's like, this is why you got to pay your taxes. Let me show you something. Let me show you something. <laughs> That's going back, man. I ain't seen that stuff in a long time. But see, that was like that whole era where we were doing that stuff. Wait, like we were, color. Well, yeah, we were talking earlier about the Dana Carvey show and stuff. They were all before Mad TV. Yeah, right. And I mean, you're talking like laughing. Like there was all these other variety shows where they had like you know sketch comedy and whatnot, and and possibly puppets. It's puppets, bro. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm telling you, there's an angle here. I mean, isn't there? Hey, boo boo. I mean, we're talking Johnson's mm -hmm. underwear. Bears gotta eat. Bears gotta eat. Yeah, right. <laughs> Dude, you went off on that and said, go get me the Ranger or something. <laughs> bro, no, bro. Yeah, yeah, I don't think the Ranger will like that. No, to like go eat, like go get them. <laughs> I feel but like. It looks so delicious. I think you I think you were like referencing <laughs> to the idea of eating. It kind of looks like a big old picnic basket. Dude, I, I, th I think so. Like, I feel like, <laughs> feel like this was a thing. Which only made her come to the with a tie. <laughs> well, because that's when you, that's like surely after you're like, hey, Bear's got to eat. <laughs> All right, I'm just saying. <laughs> Salmon's not running. <laughs> Dude, I just got buzzed too. There is a moth in the studio. It's getting cold. Bear's got to eat. Dude. <laughs> I'm saying you're on like a you're on like a 30 second reset. <laughs> Freaking you're like Tom over here. Hi, I'm Tom. <laughs> oh hey Tom. <laughs> Pleasure to meet you. How are how are you doing? The bear's gotta eat is oh, just the baseline. Hi, I'm Tom. Just, you know, gotta run through the gamut of all the other ideas. It's a bear line. Back to the you know. the bear base. Base the, the, bear, <laughs> the bear necessities. <laughs> Is this your bear? You get a special bond with this bear? The simple ones, you know? The simple ones. The simple bear necessities. <laughs> forget, about, <laughs> forget about all the worries. <laughs> Easy there, Baloo. <laughs> oh, my dear Lord. This is our problem-free philosophy. Oh, that's right. <laughs> you can't join she, them, too. She knows. She knows this exactly is, what I'm talking about. We can't do this. We've already tangented. We can't tangent any further. I mean, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's our motto. What's the motto? I don't know. What's the matter with you? What's the matter with you? Uh, it's like, you know what a quota is? Uh, like 25 cents. <laughs> <laughs> what voice was that? That was from Beavis and Butthead. Oh. They go to the freaking. Oh. He's, you boys know what a quota is? How am I explaining? It's, it's not a lot. 25 cents. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> yeah. A quarter. <laughs> my liver. Yeah, that guy should know. <laughs> I think it's lower. <laughs> <laughs> Diarrhea, cha cha cha. I am Cornholio. Dude, Cornholio was a dope <laughs> character, man. Let's, my phone let's be honest. <laughs> Out of everything that Beavis and Butthead was, Cornholio was definitely like. Oh, but being honest, give me all your TP. My phone hole. All he did was pull a shirt up and put his hands in the air. <laughs> 
it's so, it's so simple. You know what I mean? It's so simple. But, but, you, but think about it, like animation, right? <laughs> it's, it's puppets, bro. It makes it fun. Because if you saw a kid walking down the street like that, you'd be like, oh my God, what is this? What is this problem? Severely like, disturbed. <laughs> like have never actually seen like Beavis and Butthead. Like this was actual real life and that actually happened. It did, no, the society would be like, there's this weird kid on, on Fifth Street today that wanted TV for his bong. You like, see it like on the seven o'clock news or something. <laughs> this just in, young teen looking for TP for his bunghole. <laughs> <laughs> this and more when we return. What? Appear threatened by any very, very strange. <laughs> you Are you threatening me? <laughs> See, he'd be like Godzilla almost, <laughs> like just watching him, except, you know, he's, he's only like five feet tall, but comes like mashing through the neighborhood. <laughs> now, see, this, I'm tell, you're on a 30 second loop. <laughs> you get something in your head, it just, it, dude, that's all you get. Loading. <laughs> buffering, buffering, buffering. Buffering. You're right. I feel like the lo the loading is the ellipsis now. No, I'm done. I'm done. You talk. You talk. <laughs> yeah, no, no. I know how this works. I've been here before. You've been here? The, this place. Not like. Like the now now? In the, in the conversation. In well, the, what was that? See, the, this is what I'm saying. I'm going to start throwing shit at <laughs> you. Like a 30 second this no, is the I problem can't. with the new studios. The table's too Hi, wide to fit everything. Exactly. <laughs> I, can't, I can't kick them. I can't hit them. I got to throw. I guess, but I don't want to. It's my shit. I don't want to throw my own shit at you. You need, yeah, you need to bring your own I feel like next week you're going to have a stick. So you can, like, Yo, I never <laughs> even thought about that. <laughs> Swag. I mean, you, usually my golf clubs are in the corner because then I can oh, I can just use my golf clubs next time. That'll feel real good. I'll flip it around at least. I'll, I'll, hold, the, I'll hold the club head, so I'll just whack you with the stick. Yeah, that'll work. Or like a whip. No, I'm like caning. Had a nine tail. I'm gonna cane you, bro. <laughs> like you did a rolled up towel. <laughs> a rolled up towel. A rolled up towel. I might <laughs> stretch up on the TV <laughs> in the bar. <bottom. laughs> Bro, my brain was there, but I'm like, that is the worst connection ever. It's it not worked. even worth saying. But you thought it. Oh, I did. That's which so is funny. Which is probably why you said it. <laughs> <laughs> the idea jumped from me to you because I was just like, nah, I'll let that one go. See, even even I have standards. <laughs> I feel like. <laughs> easy, easy there. I feel like there was a connection there. There's mm -hmm. always, I mean, it's train of thought. What don't you understand? Yeah, but this train is not on any kind of track, though. That's the that's the problem. It's the, yeah. See, that, what the problem is. Maybe it's incorrectly. Maybe it's not a train. <laughs> it's like a unicycle of thought. <laughs> <laughs> the skateboard of thought. <laughs> <laughs> no, I literally just had a picture of a guy riding a unicycle down the railroad tracks with like a little toy chain. <laughs> with, like the, the train like, with, the, with like the string, like the old 1940s. It, no, but just like clocking and like flip flopping. <laughs> Dragging behind him like freaking cans on a, you know, just got married in the back of a car. <laughs> Freaking, you know. All this came into your head in that split second. Yeah, when you're talking about like you know, with a funny. unicycle, just like <laughs> unicycle going down the train tracks, and it's just like it's just a train's flip flop, and he's la la hands on his side riding his unicycle, like the sailboat of thought. <laughs> <laughs> Do -do -do -do. <laughs> Could be, I don't know, the school bus of thought. The, the wheels on the bus go round and round. All right, I don't think it's funny anymore. I need to move on. <laughs> that was so 23 <laughs> seconds ago. Next. 30 seconds. Boom. Do, right. do, you're like, oh, was it in freaking uh, From Glory the Last Rainforest when Batty has like the two electrodes sticking out of his brain <laughs> and they're like falling to the ground and the guy, like, he's just smacking them. <laughs> and he starts going through all the different TV channels. Picking up, yeah. And then all of a sudden it like, he gets back together and just and like takes off and starts flying. Or one of my more favorite scenes. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. 97X. Oh, God. Bam! 
Damn. See, this is the problem when I the give you too of much. rock and roll. When I give you too much food and you drink too many beers, you get all sassy. <laughs> it used to be double noodles. Apparently, it's just whether he eats, a, he needs, there's, he's like a grim. Well, that's starch too. <laughs> Don't feed me after midnight. Well, it's more of like, just, you know, <laughs> careful as to what. And Don't get me wet. <laughs> <laughs> I like you're leaving yourself open for a whole lot of. I'm not even going to touch that one. That's what he said. Well, yeah. Then it's not. It's never going to happen. It's not happening, bro. <laughs> Is that what you tell me? Never going to get. It's not going to happen. <laughs> it's, <never. sighs> it's like a little kid's clubhouse I've stumbled upon here. <laughs> I'm never, telling you, man. You don't ever get me wet. Don't feed me after midnight. <laughs> what am I? I don't, what what, what so am I supposed to do so with we, this? So there's no ice cream. <laughs> so are you saying there's no ice cream? Yeah, there's no ice cream coming. Bro. <laughs> what? I don't even know what I'm supposed. To, I don't. I'm just like. I don't know what. Tell me a story. We know where this goes. We've tried this before. It did not work. Actually, it was a really good story, but you were just being a pain in the ass about it. All right, I won't say nothing. Dude, we also know where this goes. <laughs> One, two, three, go. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. I mean, luckily we're we're almost over, which is very good for everybody. Cause, everybody, because they get the perfect to, time to just get into a story. <laughs> oh, no, it's the perfect time totally. for everybody to be able to leave, so they can just save their dignity at this point. This is what's happening here. Wow, man. <laughs> it's my show too, um. man. It's. <laughs> If I want to take it in any direction and drag it through the mud, that's my choice. Dude, we've had this conversation. Per yeah. your manifesto, that is not allowed, good sir. <laughs> that's true. We are to uphold the standards look, of the highest honor. I have been with hilarity, <laughs> polite, and kind sometimes throughout the whole <laughs> most of <laughs> 73%. <laughs> that's accurate. That is accurate. <laughs> it's only fair. I mean, I would say it's only appropriate. I mean, it's well. Uh, at least I'm consistent. Seventy three percent of the time, I'm consistently an a hole. But that's sixty <laughs> percent of the time. It works a hundred percent of the time. <laughs> that makes no sense. Yeah. Well, it's like ninety percent. I'm gonna be honest. It smells like straight like, gasoline. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like in uh, Better Off Dead when he's drinking the the ether or whatever the paint thinner <laughs> and he sets it down on the table <laughs> the neighbor's mom drinks it and then lights her cigarette her face is all patched up wait That's but hilarious. i thought that would never happen i mean well no because i mean technically she was it wasn't was, that your fire marshal bill reference but it's atomizing which means that it's having gas so the plus it was i mean paint thinner the the alcohol burned right off the top i think it's pretty flammable it's volatile that too. So I mean, yeah, she would she'd light up like <laughs> freaking Christmas tree in middle of July. I've known people like that. <laughs> I don't even, I don't even know what to mean. It's provocative and it makes people think. <laughs> <laughs> but it does. Oh. Puts it oh. in the basket. <laughs> I would mean, just say that's probably what people are doing at this point. Put the point. lotion in the basket. That's not all that's going in the basket. <laughs> well, it's, a, it's, a, it's a welcome basket. It's got cocoa Ooh. butter. Why can't they put the lotion back in the basket? <laughs> well, I was just smelling it, I swear. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, this is um, probably... <laughs> a good place to stop this, any. Yeah, it is, it is time to stop now, Mac. All right. I will not laugh any longer. Because I doubt that very much. <clears throat> but anyways, yeah, no, this is um, this has been I'm telling you with your host Philly D, Mr. Gemini. Click and click a fact check of Mr. D, and, and a tiny moth. And yeah, I know he's not getting any credit. <laughs> he didn't help. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, if you'd like to reach out to us, uh, ity directionsandmusic dot org. Requesting uh, a flyby. Yeah, <laughs> negative ghost rider pattern is full. And um, if you wanted to reach all three of us at the ITY, if not individually, you can get uh, G-E-M-I-N-I, directionsandmusic.org. That's Gemini. Or Philly D, P-H-I-L-L-Y, D, at directionsandmusic.org. Yeah, and um, 
going to sign off as their usual where we say, uh, be good to yourself and be good to everyone else. Much love. Peace. Peace. Peace.